Thank you, everybody. So my name is Jay Lyman, and I'm a librarian at the Seattle Public Library. How many of you are a little bit surprised to see a librarian here to talk about business and, and be honest? It's okay. I'm, my feelings won't be hurt. You know, Jay, you going to tell us all about Dewey Decimal System? I can. Awesome. <laughs> Which part would you like to know? So the library is really known for this kind of technology, right? You know, uh, and you know, leisure time reading activities. And there's a good reason for that. You know, we still are a great place for you to come and find a good book to read on vacation. But I'm here to talk about something else. So the library has been answering, helping people solve business and technology problems for over 100 years. And if you can think back with me about 20 years in time, we were one of the big information games in town. People would line up at our desks from the moment that we opened until the moment that we closed and ask their business questions. They mailed us questions like this one from Aberdeen, uh, where uh, this librarian there was reaching out to her colleagues to uh, get some help on the earwig infestation that was happening in Aberdeen, apparently. You were the Google of 1923. We were, yes. <laughs> I found this in an archive in the back, in the, in the back, and it's just, I love this question. So, of course, we know this story. In the 1990s, something changed, and we found new ways to share information online. And people started to forget about the library as a, a source for certain kinds of information. But there's more to this story. And uh, any of you that have ever searched for a data point for a business plan or a growth plan might have discovered that that perfect data point that you're looking for is buried behind a paywall with a nice big $2,000 price tag attached to it. So one way that the library is helping people now is just like we did with print materials, we're buying electronic tools for you to use. Now, we don't have every, every uh, market research report that you're looking for, but we have a growing collection, and people are really rediscovering the library as uh, a source for this kind of information. What kind of questions do they ask us? Well. They want to know questions. They want to know about companies. They want to know about their competition. So maybe uh, they want to know about s suppliers. They want to know uh, so lists of companies. So like this list here of software companies, software publishing companies in Washington. And I used a, a tool called Reference USA to come up with this uh, little short list here. Uh, but you could export all kinds of data about these companies from Reference USA. They want to know market trends. So uh, when you look at this slide, I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. That is the cute world's cutest puppy. That's my dog. That's Sox. So, yeah, isn't she cute? So, also, we spent $350 million on costumes for our pets last year, guys. I mean, I wish I could stand here and say that I had no part in that, but there's this. So, my excuse is that I have kids, and they begged me for this Darth Vader cosplay for, their, for Sox. Although Sox doesn't look too happy about it at all. Uh, so they asked us for demographics. They asked us for consumer expenditures. Here is a, a data database called Re uh, Demographics Now, probably my favorite database. Here's where you could find out how much do people spend on video games in Magnolia versus Mercer Island versus nationally or in Seattle. So Mercer Island's got some catching up to do. <laughs> Uh, sometimes people just want to brush up on their skills. So we have a number of online learning tools that people can use for free with a library card. Um, maybe you want to learn a language. You want to brush up on some code or uh, learn, learn how, what a business ratio is in uh, using lynda.com or all kinds of other things you can learn in lynda.com or universal class. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So we have a lot of other kind of, kinds of specialized tools that you can use. Uh, many of which are free and uh, free for use with a library card from outside the library. Um, today, um, I'm happy to say that just this week, we launched a way that you can take that uh, outside to the park because we're now loaning Wi-Fi hotspots so that you can go and check those out at the library and then go out and, and, uh, and, surf and, and, and take your class on lynda.com. Of course, libraries are physical spaces too, and we have 27 beautiful branches across the city, and we're reimagining how we're using those spaces today. Uh, one way that we're doing that is uh, some examples. We're having some 3D printing classes coming up this summer. 
on Rhino, so you can uh, learn how to do that. Uh, we've been having a popular uh, Your Business Start Smart uh, workshop. We got 82 people that came out for that in the, in, in, at, to the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Auditorium at the Central Library. Um, this is a picture from Startup Weekend EDU, which happened at the Central Library last November. So we're trying to reimagine how people are using our spaces and make the spaces fit how we, how we want to use them. Boop, 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 boop. Good. So this is the last slide here. Uh, if I can answer questions, this is how, this is how you get in touch with me and my, uh, my staff at the Seattle Public Library. Look for that icon on our website. And questions are what we do. Do we have time for some questions? Yep. Anybody? Yes. It's a great question. So it's based on where you live, work, or go to school as to, where, where, as to whether we can give you a free card. Uh, if you live in King County, we, can, we have a reciprocal agreement with the King County system so that you can get a, car, a Seattle Public Library card and vice versa. So uh, the great value there is that the King County Library buys different tools than we do. And so you can use their tools if you have a card from both locations. Uh, we have agreements up and down kind of in the, the greater Seattle area, up to Snohomish area, that sort of thing. If you're in eastern Washington, you can get a Seattle Public Library, but there's a, there's a charge. You can get a card, but there's a charge for that. Other questions? Yeah. Uh-huh. I think it has. Um, it's, it should be in our uh, event calendar now on our website, spl.org. Sure. Other questions? All right. Questions are what we do. Come find us.